Hello, this is Billy Core from the Carolina Circle Mall Wiki. Today is Tuesday, May the 12th of 2015, and I just got a package from Scotland. Sorry, I won't do that again, don't worry. <laughs> and it's obviously from Video Sun Frontiers, who is on Skype with us right now, along with Elmo3. Hey, everybody. Hey, I'd, um, I'd like to... I'd like to stay here and chat, but after that wee performance from Belly, I think I need a whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> special SMP blended tea whiskey with compact. Yes. <laughs> and a haggis. <laughs> yeah, Billy's worried that I've sent him a haggis in the mail, despite the fact that um, uh, export regulations strictly prohibit me from sending any kind of food stuffs in the mail. And I haven't, and I haven't passed out from the horrible s smell of one-month-old haggis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm actually pretty sure that haggis would be, uh, smell that grand after a month. Um, <laughs> seriously, but I mean, haggis is fantastic, and I urge everyone to get, get a go. Just not in England, because I tried it in England; it was disgusting. You try it up here; it's absolutely fantastic. Well, um, so what's they can't do shortbread in England? What's in this package here um, is, well, something kind of um, unique, a rather rare item, but I, I'm not going to tell you right now. You'll just have to see for yourself as I open this package. Do you know I could ruin your video right now and tell them exactly what it is? Yes, you could. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's get started here. Oh, I'm um, actually, Jay, um, I, think, I think you should go over the... Uh, the, the typical video on Frontiers unboxing safety tips. Oh, yeah, um, if you're one of the, um, now Belly has some sort of a blade. In Scissors. Scissors. Now, if he was using a, a knife, like I sometimes do, I would say that if you are one of the people who think that um, Scotland would do better in the Union, I would say that you're not responsible enough to be trusted with such a device, and um, I would say that you should probably seek out the help of a responsible adult. Um, and I would like to kind of come forward and say that um, Alex Salmond is a responsible adult who would, um, you know, if he was in the area, he would no doubt help you um, use a knife in such a way as not to kill everyone in the uh, vicinity. Got that right. Yes. Oh. Um, you must make sure that you have to hand, and I don't have to hand at the moment, so um, I'm actually contravening my own safety regulations. You need to have to hand a cup of tea or, failing that, a uh, nice wee glass or a can of iron brew. Um, the most effective tea in this situation um, is Scottish Blend, of which I do actually have an unopened box, of a large box, in the kitchen. Unfortunately, all I have is this can of... Um Walmart brand Diet Dr. Pepper. <laughs> See, now that, I mean, Dr. Pepper is fantastic, but Walmart brand. It's all we had in the refrigerator. <laughs> it's generic, so you know. The fact that you're even in a position to be able to get Walmart brand Dr. Pepper, which means that you obviously had to go go to Walmart to get it. And it probably came I'm from the Walmart good. where Carolina Circle Mall used to be, so. <laughs> That's definitely Jay approved. Uh, Jay disapproved. Yeah. Um, <laughs> seriously, this Walmart. <laughs> okay. Uh, so now, so now that we've, um, so now that we've uh, con committed acts of grave, grave, grave heresy. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's commence uh, under boxing and uh, whatever yeah, that means. Yeah, I never thought I would ever use the word heresy on one of those videos. <laughs> I don't want to have to buy batteries for me, but that's batteries and not long, I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's fine. We went the whole hog. You know what? I'm going to crawl in the back of the ball. Actually, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, at least it's not Walmart brand iron brew. <laughs> that yeah, that's, that's that would it make me sick as well. You see, now, Iceland, which is a, a freezer shop in the UK, when I say freezer shop, I mean they sell frozen goods. 
um, they actually they actually said to Valdi, hey, we, we beat the Germans once and we can do it again. <laughs> that is just British mentality right there for you. You know, I can imagine most Brits actually still believe there's an empire. <laughs> they do. They do. It's like, oh, yes, our glorious empire. It's like, no, no, no. Well, I hate to interrupt you, Jay, but the box is open. Yeah, okay, before you all think that, I'm a Jay stick freak. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Wow. That was awful generous of Jay. He sent me an NVIDIA GeForce 210. Jay, you shouldn't have. <laughs> what's, what's, the card, what's the graphics card that Luke Miller loves beyond anything else? And I thought, it's a GeForce 210. <laughs> <laughs> Quite enough tearing in Second Life for him to decide to switch out the board in his bedside computer, which necessitates a need for a video, which no, necessitates... I think I need to do that. No, no, I don't. Well, necessitate the need, necessitates the need for Google AdSense. <laughs> oh, and that, guys, by the way, the reason I hate Walmart is because um, workers should be paid a living wage. I completely agree. Um, so yeah, that's that's me going back to my liberal self. Now let's all kind of smoke granola and um, eat some hash. <laughs> smoke granola. Well, but anyway, guys, um, this yeah. is. N this is not a GeForce 210. It's just the box for one, but what's in here is actually something a little bit cooler than a GeForce 210. I was about to say the Stonia if you use a GeForce. It's pretty easy to be cooler than a GeForce 210. The Stonia <laughs> if you use a GeForce 210. They'll stone you if you use a GeForce 610. They'll stone you if you use a GeForce 230. They'll stone you if you use a GeForce 7300. <laughs> oh, I would not feel so alone. Everybody must get a GTX 750. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, let's open this up because, believe it or not, there's actually a computer in this box, in this little box. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's um, Scottish magic, you see. <laughs> And, and this is the and this is the first time I've seen one of these in person, folks. And oh my gosh, this is so cool, ladies and gentlemen. Let me present to you the Toshiba Libretto 50CT. This is something I've been after for many, many, many years. This is pretty much what a netbook a netbook used to be and it's actually smaller than a netbook i believe yeah let's teach brandon bishop about subcompact <laughs> let's let's teach him that we shall not ever use the term pre-netbook <laughs> subcompact netbook subcompact sub sub net book <laughs> compact sub <laughs> whatever all right let's open it up and Oh, I got some papers in here. All right, first we got. You'll wonder where the yellow went when you show Randy a new HP. <laughs> a little shout out to Power Mac Galaxy there. Yeah. I just, I just wanted to, I just wanted to show y'all that I have a really good photo printer. <laughs> <laughs> Illuminati confirmed, and that's a real cool cat. <laughs> I like cat. Yeah, it's, it's uh, Elmo's Reese cat. You sent my cat all the way from Scotland back to the U.S. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the UK, the, uh, the UK Independence Party made me do it. <laughs> Nigel Farage's lot. Blame them lot. <laughs> and. Yeah, well, you know how nationalism works. Oh wait, it doesn't. <laughs> and a um. And speaking of Luke, we got Luke the 90s dude. <laughs> oh no. Oh yeah, you better believe I said that. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not even had Luke the 80s dude, but... It's uh, so early 90s that there's a pink boombox in I mean... <laughs> like, that should be 1989 right there. Yes, yeah, you just need a Sega CD in that. Yeah. Yeah, I need a Sega CD. Yeah, you could, you could be listening to uh, Nirvana. <laughs> Boombox. We'll, 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 we'll say that's what Luke was listening to. That's uh, Nirvana. And finally, better make a cup of tea. Yep. 
<laughs> yep, that's that's advice that will get you through the day. <laughs> Seriously, it's advice that's used in Okay, and there's one more thing in this in this box, which I already know what it is. Something that will come in handy for this computer as well as a few others. And that wasn't it. <laughs> I was about to say, if, if it's a part I'm thinking of, uh, you might actually want to have a look inside the machine itself. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's a um, CF card um, adapter. Not the CF card adapter you, you, you usually see from me. This is a CF card adapter that you can use as removable storage in Windows 95, which this system runs. <clears throat> yeah, it's um, basically a PCMCIA to CF card adapter which is brilliant at providing uh, removable mass storage um, to a Windows 95 machine. Mm. Um, so with that, you could actually install the drivers to that Sony PCMCI ACD ROM drive and actually connect that up to it, and then you can uh, do some multimedia stuff on it. Yeah, and I also intend to put a CF card in there to keep in at all times with, my, with old games on it. Yep. Oh yeah, I remember you saying that, yeah. Um, I do believe it was 95B that I installed on there, so you can actually use a higher capacit capacity card. Good. Uh, I do mostly like to have 95B on my systems, and I've pretty much provided you with um, what I would see as a typical J install one there. So um, We have similar tastes, so that shouldn't be an issue. <laughs> We have similar similar taste in software, so that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, I mean, I was made I made sure not to put any of those kind of raunchy, sexy DOS games on that you'd see on uh, running on my battery bag. Yes. <laughs> anyway, let's take a quick little tour of the system. On the on the right side, we have um, power, which I believe uses the same cord that my satellite 2505 CDS uses, which is convenient. And you got the CF card slot we were talking about. And on the back here is actually a port replicator, I believe. Um, it's not it's, it's not a replicator so much as um, um, a port. It's because it doesn't replicate any parts. It kind of adds parts. Right. Yeah, I wasn't sure what to call it. Yeah, I, I don't know either. It's just kind of... But basically... Um, you connect up to it and you got some of the extra parts. Yeah, and you can unscrew it here and make it a little bit lighter. Um, and you, you without just... That, without that, um, part, without the extra parts, um, hooked up to the machine, um, it actually, um, it actually makes the machine, uh, slimmer than, uh, a VHS tape. Which is unbelievable for its time. But on, on this, but the ports you do get with this is, a uh, is serial, VGA out and parallel printer, and you also back here you get infrared, and I believe that is a headphone jack there. On the right side, on the left side, you get nothing. <laughs> and we'll open it back up, and you get a 640 by 480 active matrix display. Very nice. And you get the smallest keyboard I've ever seen on a computer. <laughs> this feels so cool. Yeah, I think, I think I've seen Scion organizers with bigger keyboards. And this is actually a UK keyboard layout. Well, it, it's really not all that different since it's um, such a small keyboard, but... Yeah, you don't have the, um, you don't have the inverted L-shaped enter key. Yeah. <laughs> And you get power button up here as well as um, some LEDs for um, important things. Um, specs of this is it has a 75 megahertz Intel Pentium processor, the same as my Packard Bell Legend 402 CD over there. And it has an 850 megabyte hard drive, which I do intend replacing with a CF card um, sometime in the future. And how much RAM is in it, Jay? 32? Um. 
think it's 32. Okay, that sounds about right. 32 megs of RAM. And here's what's unique about this system, the mouse. Now, if you saw um, B. Bishop PCM's video last week of that little um, HP laptop from the 90s, you, you may have noticed that the mouse on there was, well, left quite a bit to be desired. <laughs> but Yeah, I'd like to smoke what they were smoking when they thought that was a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> but the mouse on here actually makes sense and it's actually kind of cool. Um, th this right here acts kind of like a track point, uh, an oversized track point. And on the back end, you just put your thumb over it and move the cursor. And on the back here, you get left click and right click buttons, which is very intuitive. Makes a lot more sense than <laughs> certain other computers at the time. HP. <laughs> HP. Yep. Well, let me um, pause the. <laughs> let me pause the video and so I can go get my power cord and we'll fire it up. Okay, we um, mm -hmm. we got power going to it from the cord for my 2505 CDS. So I guess there's nothing to do now but a smoke test. Okay, I hear the hard drive. All right, we got video and a post. Copyright 1997. Starting Windows 95. Oh, oh this is so cool. Look how small it is. <laughs> you know, um, I always knew these were small, but I had never seen one of these in person, so... Now I can really see how small it is. Imagine taking out of an airplane somewhere. It's perfect. I know. This is uh, this is kind of why one of the reasons why I had to give it up because it was actually too small. <laughs> yeah, purple place. <laughs> oh no! Oh, good grief, Jay! <laughs> what did I put on it? I completely forgot. You put a picture of Paul Schindler as the wallpaper, saying, that's my opinion, I'm Paul Schindler. And the startup sound was, yay, purple place. <laughs> oh, yeah. I completely forgot that. <laughs> <laughs> yay, purple place. My opinion, I'm Paul Schindler. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. I completely forgot about all that. As, as some of uh, your viewers will know, my memory is not that good. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the the display on here is really nice. I wouldn't know. I can't. I've never seen that. <laughs> oh no, Jay is is this Westwood Monopoly on here? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it's Westwood. See, you also got Scrabble on here. No, it's not Westwood. It's um, it's 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 an earlier one that didn't need a CD-ROM to run it. Okay, it's got, I think, the same audio chip in here as my 2505 CDS, the Yamaha OPL3 SAX, which is actually really a really nice um, audio chip. Yeah. Great MIDI on it. And we got Toshiba Utilities, including Display Switch, Power Saver, Shutdown Utility, and Toshiba System Info, and Toshiba Accessories, Online Service, Microsoft Reference, Bookshelf 95, DOS games. Um, we got Commander Keen. I've always, I, I keep wanting to try Commander Keen, but I can't keep get, haven't gotten around to it. Ho Hocus Pocus, a game I've actually um, become quite addicted to the last couple of weeks. <laughs> Jazz Jack Rabbit, Jazz Jack Rabbit Holiday Hair '95, all three Jills of the Jungle, Lemmings, Lemmings Christmas, and Operation Frog, which you saw in my. PB1750 CDT overview a couple of months ago, which is a Frogger clone. And accessories. Jay, you forgot to put Best of Entertainment on here. <laughs> what were you thinking? Just kidding. It's okay. And we got Microsoft Office. Um... You see which version it is. Uh, version Windows for Windows 95. Good little version there. <laughs> this is so cool. <coughs> wow. 
Wow, this is this is. <laughs> Did I remember to put Microsoft Works on there? Uh, let's find out. Microsoft. I don't believe he did, Jay, but I can always add it. Oh dear. I'm not really doing that great. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go into... Get... Trying to get used to this mouse here. <laughs> and let's go into properties. System properties, it is. Actually, Jay, it's 16 megs of RAM, but that's okay. Yeah, because my memory's not that great. And it's registered to Billy Core of Purple Place. <laughs> You're killing me here. <laughs> I forgot about that as well. Go into Device Manager. We have a Chips and Technologies video card. <laughs> and Yam Yamaha sound card. Well, speaking of Yamaha and sound cards, I think it's time to do a canyon test. Oh, by the way, I'm going to need that box Wow. <laughs> okay, let's go let's go ahead and shut it down because I'm curious about something. Oh na na, what's my name? 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 Well, that was different <laughs> for a shutdown. <laughs> I definitely am. <laughs> I, I think Jay sent this to me just to troll me. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Funny you get back now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good grief. <laughs> No, please don't tell me about that. That is yours. Yeah, I've been wanting one of these for a long time. These are very special computers, and and it, there will be a more in-depth video about the libretto um, coming up soon. A so-called hands-on, if you will. Yep. <laughs> so, um, I guess we'll go ahead and close this video out. Um, Luke, any thoughts? It's... Tiny. Yes, it is. It's a teeny tiny toshi. Any any thoughts, Jay? Well, I just hope you have lots of fun with that machine. I've been trying to send you guys compacts uh, for the best part of two years, and, and just none of them have ever really mm -hmm. worked. 
Well, this one seems to work just fine, and um, like I said, I, I intend to use this as a very small Windows 95 slash DOS gaming laptop. Well, that's, that's basically what it's for. I'm just sorry, I couldn't have sent you the body because mailing restrictions kind of prohibit me sending depleted bodies. Oh, well, that's fine. Um, hopefully you might be able to buy a rebuilt one, you know, and, and then I could. you could actually run it off of the body, um, you know, which would be good. Um, you know, but I mean, I kind of figured, you know, you've been after one, and I had one sat in my, sat in my top drawer, actually, believe it or not, because it's that small. <laughs> um, just not doing much of anything, because, you know, my vision makes it really difficult for me to see the screen. Right. So, um, you know, I just thought, well, you know what, I'll send it, I'll send it uh, to, uh, to your cell, you know, so I could, you know, I know that you've been after one and, and the machine will get some good use and you know it'll go to you know it'll go to a good home um just hope it doesn't end up like the 2505 cds um like did oh there. yeah <laughs> thanks dylan <laughs> <laughs> yeah um and, and you know you're having to put like band-aids over it and stuff yeah <laughs> <laughs> because do if dr diane from busy t uh, from richard Sc uh, scary's busy town is taught us anything it's that everything can be cured by putting a bandage on it. Exactly. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, I really, really do hope you enjoy the machine. Um, I know I will, and I, man, it's going to be here forever. I, right enough. You know, it's, it's basically, it's kind of like a portable Legend 406 CD. Yeah, same specs. Except it's got twice the amount of RAM. <laughs> Although half as much as what I thought it had. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Why did I think it had 32 megs? If I'd only watched my previous videos, I'd actually know these things. Well, 16 megs is still plenty for what yeah. I want to do. Honestly, my memory's that bad now that, you know, some of my older videos, I can watch them and it's like kind of watching a new video. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I know that I'll have made the video, I know that I own the machine, but it's like, oh, here's a, here's a compact video that I've not seen before. <laughs> it's like, mm, this is quite interesting. <laughs> Don't very much think of the presenter. I think yeah. I'm going to knock it off and watch something good. <laughs> <laughs> but for now, this is Billy Core saying thank you, Jay, and um, signing off.